Well, <clears throat> it's 2020. And I've been hearing a lot about what is it? Uh, SHTF. And I'm looking on YouTube, and I'm hearing or seeing rather a lot of uh, really interesting stuff. Uh, I mean, I can't knock them. I mean, hey, they're ready for the worst case scenario, be it uh, aliens from Mars or whatever, you know, uh, local terrorist stuff, whatever. Survival of the fittest, I guess you could say. Me, on the other hand, um, I'm stuck with one of these. Fortunately, but unfortunately, the most gun snobs, uh, I own a high point. 40 cal now this little puppy right here um at the end of the day you know you hear uh all types of negative things down talk about them uh I, last time i checked they shot the same cartridge i believe if i have one oh well here we go they shot the same cartridge as a Glock 40, a uh, m and 40, or any other 40. <laughs> they shoot the same thing. At the end of the day, high point or not, this thing will knock your block off. <laughs> um, and then uh, I know you see uh, up here, you know, I was talking about SHTF. Home defense, whatnot, in the in worst case scenarios. Just real quick, you know, I believe that you need three basic things. You know, one, a pocket knife or some type of good knife. Now, this is just custom fit for me because I know my capabilities, so I'm not going to need too much. Good pocket knife, something sharp, preferably a couple of them, small. You don't need a big gigantic sword or anything. Your primary is going to be, of course, your firearm, whatever that may be. I wouldn't care if it was a 22 or a 25, 38, whatever, 357, AR-15, AK-47, 12 gauge shotguns are great, which I also have one of those two. Um, but the high point 40 for me. I put about 300 rounds through this thing. Um, pretty good with it. Had three or four malfunctions over the years. I've had it for about two or three years. Um, you know, and it's been great to me. I mean, I've shot and I have friends with Glocks, uh, M and P 40s, whatnot. Other expensive guns. I think that would probably be the only difference. Other than that, yeah, it is a little bulky or whatever, but um, as I said, and I keep saying, and I will continue to say, it's been a great firearm for me. Um, back to the SHTF. Of course, you need a knife. You need a gun. I believe you need some type of fire. If you ever got in a situation to where you were out in the wilderness or just out, you know, you have a means to hunt. And you have a means to cook. <laughs> yeah. So being from the country, you know, I I'm I could show you how to cook on a slab of rock. All you need is fire. And there'll be plenty of wood around, I'm sure. Um, those three elements and and water, of course. Um and you should be straight. You should be able to live for a while. Um, and protect yourself or your home, your family. Um, but back to this thing here, one more thing, you need plenty of ammo. This is an extended cartridge. It holds 15 in the mag. This one is 10, so there's 25 rounds, or actually, what, 27 rounds, 26 at my disposal. I mean, I'm, I think that's enough to make you think about it for a minute. 
no matter what you shooting back at me or whatever type of firepower you may have um and yes it's a high point but i guarantee you as i said before say what you may criticize ridicule whatever say what you may at the end of the day i don't think you would want to be at the end of either one of these <laughs> the knife the gun In any type of home defense, self-defense scenario, I seriously doubt if you would want to be at the end of either one of these. Either one. So say what you may. It's been a great gun. I don't have anything negative to say about the high points. Other than maybe you could make them just a little bit lighter weight wise um, but as long as it keeps working as long as it's sending bullets down range on target I don't have any complaints and hey being that it's so bulky you know they joke about it but again worst case scenario you ran out of ammo which you never run out of blade that's for sure but say you run out of ammo this thing right here is heavy enough to do some serious damage. I heard, I seen it on one video. Guy said, uh, I might want to, I'd probably rather be shot than hit with the thing because it is pretty heavy. But that kills the recoil too. So, a lot more accuracy. So, say what you may about the 40 by high point or the C9 or the 380 or the 45. Yes, they're high points. They're American made. Um, great customer service. Big shout out to that and to High Point for that. Um, it is a great gun. Not the prettiest thing, but hey, it's a great gun. Been a great gun. No complaints. High Point, baby. <laughs>